Hey, good morning to you. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Good afternoon if you're watching this later in the day. Got an update on the tropics, guys. I'm showing these next two waves are still coming. Anybody wondering what the names would be, it would be Ida and Julian is the next two on the list. If you've never been here before, hello. <laughs> My name is Mark. I do upload every single day. Just not Friday from sundown to Saturday from sundown. That's Sabbath. But make sure you hit the subscribe button because I am all year around. Matter of fact, when these tropics get a little more heated up and closer, I always do an update every afternoon. Matter of fact, guys, I've been showing the same information for almost eight days now on these next two tropical waves coming. So do me a favor, share this video to social media. If you do use social media, that's all I ask. And if you don't use it, just hit the like button. YouTube will suggest it for you. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Real quick about Tropical Depression Henri, it has affected Rhode Island with the most power outages so far. 43,000 for Rhode Island, 8,000 for Connecticut, over 7,000 for Pennsylvania, and over 3,000 for New Jersey. So it hit pretty good. Now NOAA is picking up on the waves as well. They're showing it has a 30% chance within the next five days. And this one over here has 30% chance within the next five days as well. It's just lingering across. Although all the models are pretty much showing it's gonna curve back out to the east. Never been here before. I have been following this storm ever since August 15th. For quite some time now, we have been following this storm about the next two waves that is coming, and I will stay on top of this every day. Now, update on Henri. There's some more rainfall still expected as it leaves out the east, northeast as a tropical depression. The rainfall amounts is one to two inches in this light green and two to four more inches of rainfall in the dark green. Plus tornadoes, we don't have any outlook for tornadoes today, but we did have outlook for yesterday and North Dakota and South Dakota each got a tornado yesterday. Now when we look for a cyclone tracks according to the Euro and the GFS, the Euro is picking up right here that was going to be some kind of a weak storm and intensified towards a low grade hurricane as it goes towards Northeast Mexico. Euro can only see 10 days. GFS goes a little further. It confirms that it will be going that way. It confirms the strength will be about the same. But also the second wave, it shows that it will be below a 950 millibar storm and it will be very powerful. So far, the update on the tropics is still the same. There is a development of tropical cyclone, tropical depression or greater is expected within this region. And this region they have right here for, for Western Caribbean, the Bay of Campeche and the East Pack. Matter of fact, you can see their outlook was right here before and it's moved and grown into the Caribbean. And our velocity potential has gotten stronger. Uh, it does show that ever since the 25th, now it's going all the way to the end of the month and it's showing a couple more lagging behind it. Now we look through the euro to see what's going on with both models. You can see right here by the 26th that it is picking up a tropical wave passing by Jamaica. Jamaica, I do have the rainfall amount so far for you. And as it goes through the Western Caribbean, it starts forming up, goes over to Yucatan, goes into Bay of Campeche, and that's what we've been showing for a while for this first storm. And sometime around August 30th to August 31st will be sometime around landfall for that storm. Now, the GFS has been picking it up on it, like I said, for about eight days now. And it's saying that within three to four days, we should see this tropical wave moving through the Caribbean. And it will start forming up and putting some heavier rainfall towards Jamaica. Matter of fact, GFS shows rainfall is heavier for Jamaica than Euro. And you can see it right around the 28th and 29th. It gets in the Bay of Campeche, definitely by the 30th, same as the Euro is showing. It shows a little further south than the Euro, but it still shows the same area. And then coming up on his heels on the first is the second wave. I'm still showing the second wave is still coming, guys. And as it goes through the third, it gets into the Gulf of Mexico. And this is where things change. Some of them show that it will go by the east of Florida. Some show it will go further into the Gulf. And some show that this cold front don't make it in time. But right now, it does show that it will go west in the Gulf of Mexico and go towards either Texas or Mexico. So that's still up in the air. Either way, it's definitely going to be a strong storm where that second one is going. That second one is definitely the one we got to think about and be prepared for. Even the CMC model picks it up in the next three days coming through the Caribbean as it goes towards the Bay of Campeche. And it goes a little bit more northern, a bigger storm, but a little bit more northern with it. So it's right on the border of Mexico and Texas. When you look through the Cyclone Ensembles and see what the chances are for the first wave, there is a weak chance for it to go towards the Florida Panhandle. However, it would be a very weak storm. Most of them are showing it will go towards either Texas or Mexico, and it could intensify. And the second wave could either go across Cuba and go towards Louisiana and intensify. A couple of them do show that. 
And even the euro is picking up that by the 30th, it will either be over here by Mexico and intensifying or it could turn towards Louisiana. And even when you check for a tropical storm, this is according to the euro, within the next five days, it'll be going over to Yucatan. Potential for a tropical storm as it gains strength going into Bay of Campeche and so far going for Mexico. So let's look through the perturbed members and see exactly what could be the possibility the outcomes of this storm. So if you look right here on E5, it shows that it could become in very weak, but still head north towards Texas. Shows right here on E13, it could start holding strength, but it will go to the west and go towards Mexico. 28 down here shows that it will go across the Bay of Campeche and still head towards Texas. This curve straight north. And down here in 26 shows the next wave, which starts on the third, going through the Western Caribbean and going in the Gulf of Mexico and so far towards Mississippi and Louisiana. We even got one like right here on E12. It shows it going into the Bay of Campeche. Then it, something happens with the forces. And instead of going in Mexico, it changes their mind and heads north. Now, according to the GFS, the first wave will form up and come by Jamaica and get into the Western Caribbean. After that, it will cross over to Yucatan, get into the Bay of Campeche, start strengthening up and going towards Mexico. And the next one right behind it, taking the same path, goes through the Caribbean, but starts taking a northern push. Strengthens up over Cuba, gets into the Gulf of Mexico, and starts headed north. The Euro is picking up that it will get into the Bay of Campeche for the first one, and it will head towards Mexico at 994. And the CMC picks up on the first one as well, and it's picking up stronger right on the border of Texas and Mexico. Matter of fact, the last few runs does show that it stayed in that area, but it did show a northern track like right there before. So now it's starting to show it is a little more a southern track and is somewhere towards Mexico, southern Texas. And as the second one goes through the Gulf of Mexico, so far it does strengthen up to a very strong hurricane, goes by Louisiana, strengthens up even more down to a 955 headed for Louisiana or Texas. And when we look through the dry air, you can see the dry air is in front of it and the dry air is behind it. However, the wave still gets right in between. This is the first wave. And it goes, goes towards the Bay of Campeche and then it goes west and Mexico. And that could be a reason why it goes towards Mexico because all this dry air, all this dust is a high pressure and it is pushing it. And the second wave, it does show it does have that dry air, but it's not really affecting it much. It tries to wrap around as it gets close towards the Gulf, but it's a little too late at that point. It already has all its moisture that it needs, and it is getting stronger. But if you take a look at the wind shear, you can see as the first wave comes through, it gets sheared like crazy. Matter of fact, this storm is getting followed and getting sheared all over the place. I've seen so many upper level lows, it's unbelievable. And that would be a good thing that's causing all this shear. But look at all this shear. There's no way it, the first one could go any more northern in the Gulf. And so far on the second wave, we do get an upper level low in the Gulf. And it kind of swings the second wave around and causing shear on it so it cannot go any further south. Matter of fact, you can see the winds pushing from the south to the north, keeping this in northern Gulf of Mexico the whole time. Now, so far, expected rainfall for the next 10 days, according to the Euro, shows that Jamaica will only get over an inch. Uh, the Cayman Islands, possibility of over two inches, but the heaviest spot so far is in Mexico, and they are getting a lot of rainfall. San Fernando could get over 11 inches, Monterey up to eight inches, Tampico over three inches. There's a lot of rainfall that could be coming towards Mexico. Now the GFS is picking up the second wave. The Euro is not. And the second wave is what brings all the heavy rainfall for you, Jamaica. Within the next 10 days, you could get over 10 inches of rainfall. And this isn't within the next five days. In the next five days, three inches. From five to 10 days, just in that five day period, another seven inches of rainfall. Georgetown, almost three inches. And it's showing that the Heaviest rainfall is northern Mexico, but also for southern Texas. Corpus Christi, almost seven inches of rainfall. All right, guys, so there's your quick update. God bless every single one of you. I uh, will start updating twice a day when it gets a little bit closer. It is on Noah's radar. That's a good start. Make sure you share this information on social media. Try and alert people as soon as we can. The more people are prepared, the more this isn't going to be a big deal at all. God bless you for your help. Thank you so much. If you don't use social media, just hit the like button. YouTube was suggested for you. Thank you again. Today, I want to read Psalm 12. 
Help, Lord, for the godly man seizeth, for the faithful fail from among the children of men. They speak vanity, every one with his neighbor, with flattering lips and with a double heart do they speak. The Lord shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaketh proud things. Who have said with our tongue will we prevail? Our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? For the oppression of the poor, for the scion of the needy, now will I arise, saith the Lord. I will set him in safety from him that puffeth at him. The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord. Thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. Amen. God bless you all today. Hope you have a very blessed Monday. Stay positive. Positive thinking does bring positive results. I'm a very firm believer of that. So go out there, stay positive. Have a great day today. If you're in school, you're in work, hope you have a very great day today. Hope it goes very quickly <laughs> so you can get back home to your family. But I hope you have a great day. God bless you all. Thank you again for visiting my channel today. All glory does go to Yahweh, God of Jacob. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah, guys. Have a very great day today. I will see you in the morning.